here on the Space Queen ASMR. I am Jen. If you are new here, welcome. Uh, if you like the content that you see, please do like the video, leave me a comment about what you think about the video, and maybe consider doing a little click on that subscribe button just down below. And if you are returning and you are already a member, Um, 
type of psychosis that he would develop or like it's not known if that was a factor but I mean <laughs> if you don't really have a safe place anywhere it has to have some sort of effect on your mental health right I, I mean I would assume
answering a knock on the door. Several other victims were killed when they walked in on Cook robbing their homes. And Cook would also get in, go into other homes and just kill them without taking any of their belongings. As I had mentioned, their house would be entirely undisturbed. Sorry for making such references, just I could
sworn on the Bible on his essentially deathbed that he was indeed responsible for these murders. Um, as time went on, they did look back into these factors. So Daryl Beamish was a deaf mute and he was convicted in 1961 for the 1959 murder of Jillian McPherson Brewer. She was a wealthy woman originally from Melbourne. He would serve 15 years despite Cook's claim of having committed the crime. His conviction was quashed in 2005 when new evidence pointed to Cook being the killer. See, like I said, all we needed was more modern evidence and more modern investigation techniques to be able to seal that in stone. It's too bad that we didn't have that in the past, however. John Button was jailed five, for five years for the manslaughter of the death of his girlfriend, Rosemary Anderson. This conviction was quashed when in 2002, new evidence proved Cook to have been the killer. So he didn't lie. On his deathbed, he swore that he had killed those women. He had confessed to killing those women before, and nobody believed them. And those other men had unfortunately served many years of their lives unnecessarily for a crime that they did not in any way, shape, or form commit or have any hand in, which I find astounding and about this case to say is to list off the names of the people who were murdered in Cook's violent crime sprees. I do always like to pay homage more to the victims in their remembrance than to focus on the horrible people who commit the atrocities. So before we wrap up the video, I just want to spend a moment to go over the names of the victims tragedy and let's just um, reflect and give our condolences and memories for the victims of this horrible tragedy. So Cook's victims were Benny Berkman, Jillian McPherson Brewer, John Lindsay Sturkey, George Osmond Walmsley, Rosemary Anderson, Constance Lucy Medrick. Shirley Martha McLeod. May they rest in peace. And that, 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 folks, that, folks, that, folks, that, folks, is the case for tonight. What did you think about this one? Have you ever heard of a serial killer? as unhinged and unserial killery as this one. Have you ever heard of this case before? Let me know down below. I hope that you have enjoyed learning about this case with us all here today. I thank you all for coming back and hanging out and talking and chilling and learning about a new case and relaxing here with me today. I love you guys to so eternally grateful for every video that you come and hang out with me. It means the absolute world to me. I do love you, love you so, so much. And again, if you've liked the video and you're new here, join the Space Fram. It's absolutely free. We'd love to have you here. And I'll just keep you in contact with everything that we post as the weeks come. I have some exciting, different and exciting and fun content also to pepper in throughout the holiday seasons coming up. So I hope you guys all um, enjoy that as well um, with the strange content that I like to post. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all the support um, that you've been giving me so far. It makes my heart swell with every comment. Um, all of your nice words. I love that you guys are enjoying this. I, you don't understand how happy it makes me. So I love you, love you. I hope to see you here again next time, and thank you so much for 